What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. We have right here a 2020 F350 and she's got my favorite in it. She's powered by a 6.7. But something on this truck I want to talk about, we talked about before. Yes, fellas, this is the CCV box. Do you guys change it? Do you service it? Most importantly, do you know about this one? We're going to talk about this one and where it's from and where it's going to go. All right, guys, let's do it. thanks so much for coming back and checking us out everybody i really appreciate it make sure to hit that like and subscribe if you're watching our videos share us because we want everybody to get the best power stroke and super duty knowledge out there so this video i'm going to talk about the ccv box again we're going to talk about the ccv box because something has changed if you own a 67 you guys know that your CCV box is on the driver's side valve cover behind the fuel filter. Now, if you did not know what that looks like off the vehicle, this is a 22 CCV box. My 20 looks pretty much the same. Let's go compare and contrast to this 20 and see what the difference between the 20 and the 22 is. Looks the same. Looks the same. Can you count the bolts? Can you count the bolts? This is pretty much the same. 22 F Super Duty with the 6.7. This is the CCV box. I would say 20, 21, and 22. Now, there were different ones in the beginning that had bolts all the way around. I will link those videos in the description so you guys know what we're talking about because those ones had a replaceable filter. I will link this video in the description as well. If you remember the video where you, where I took the oil fill cap off and it blew right off. It was because there was too much crankcase pressures in the crankcase. This filter was clogged or restricted and was causing excessive pressure. These new ones do not have a filter. They are filterless. It's more uh, like a baffle uh, screen type in there. Uh, definitely no filter like it was before. Uh, those were super nasty. And uh, when they got full, them things were heavy as hell too. Um, just saturated with oil and no, no flow or air or anything uh, was gonna go through that pleated material. So a lot of you guys might take these off. Uh, that's fine and dandy, you do what you gotta do. Now, my coworker had a 22 come in, right? A 22, this came off of the 22. Early, early 22. We had one come in, it was a late model built 22. And check this CCV box out. Let's get this on the same plane so you can check it out. Visually different. Would it mount up? Let's flip it over and you can see this, this plane. Would it mount up? Damn right it would mount up. What I find very interesting though, when I ordered this, this is about 70 bucks. My cost, I think it was like about 40 something. Uh, I wanted to, to buy this to make a video. I wanted to show you guys the difference between this. But check this out. Even though this came on a 22, is this a clue for 23? Remember 11, 12, 13s had the CCV pressure sensor in it? Now we have a port and a bolt hole, but no sensor because 22 models did not. Maybe this is preparation for 23, and we are soon gonna see this part number change a little bit. Paul Charlie 3 Zebra, that is a first for me with a 
prefix part number starting with the letter P. The one for this particular unit is a Henry Charlie 3 Zebra. Definitely difference in part numbers, and I'm only going to assume that that is going to change once this gets hollowed out and we're going to be putting a sensor in. If this is not, if this is not going to happen for 23, is this something that's going to be for 24? A little clue. I wanted to share it with you because I thought this was interesting and it was way smaller than the other one. This one takes up a lot of room behind the fuel filter. This one does not. It looks very much a simpler design. It still has the same O-rings. still has the O-ring on the outside here, just like this does. I'm not sure what this little diaphragm is, but apparently they... Apparently they don't need it here. We have a different type of uh, diaphragm or little vent. Whatever the case is, what also is different is the connector. I'm gonna have to show you guys a video on how to remove this off of a late built 22 or your 23 model. You guys remember me showing you how to do this. I slide this rubber sheathing down and I lift up those tabs so that I can reuse this. I think it's foolish that Ford wants you to replace this every time you need to take the lower intake off. The cost of this box, I'm not sure what it is that Ford's gonna pay for warranty, but if the customer comes in and they're paying cash for a repair and I can save a hundred or so dollars because I don't have to destroy this to remove it, then I'm gonna be reusing this. There's no sense and throwing this away, obviously inspecting these O-rings and, and using accordingly, but I think um, I think definitely that they can be reused. It is, it's kind of silly in my mind that you have to throw this away. A one-time use part just for this, I, I don't agree with it. But that brings us to our 22 and a half, 23. I wanna know what you guys think of this CCV box, would you guys like to see a video of retrofitting this model year for this style CCV? I think we're going to, and it's really funny because as I'm filming this video, CP's Garage is texting me. I have not talked to him all day. He's actually texting me right now, wanting to know if I ever looked into this. How funny is that? It just came across the screen. Let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you for watching. Remember to like, comment, sub, share, and let me know in the comments. I'll be watching closely. Are you using this 23 CCV? Your part number's right there. You guys have a good day. We'll see you.